Good morning, everyone, for December 3rd, 2013. The time is 8.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think we can officially now just allow Comet Ison, the Comet of the Century, to remain a memory. Comet Ison, rest in peace. This comes from spaceweather.com. Now, I was concerned, and I did a video yesterday showing that after Comet Ison made its perihelion around the sun, what remained, I did a couple of videos, uh, was not Comet Ison, just uh, a fragment of what used to be Comet Ison, but I was concerned about uh, the debris that could remain in the, the fragments that were left behind. And I did a video yesterday, and I was concerned about what appeared to be a, a light bar or a missile that struck uh, the remnant uh, that remained of Comet Ison, and I was concerned of what may what this debris may be, and if it would be scattered or pulled down here to Earth. But uh, I officially now um, deem that there is no danger to anyone here on Earth, and I I highly highly suggest BP Earth Watch and Paul Bailey let it go, go after the next thing to promote fear and the second coming. Comet Ison, rest in peace, following its Thanksgiving Day brush with uh, solar fire. Sun diving Comet Ison is now just a cloud of dust. Among experts, a consensus is building that the comet broke apart shortly before perihelion, closest approach to the sun. In the movie, note how rapidly the comet faces just before it vanishes behind the occultic disk of uh, the Soho Let's watch this for a moment. And you can see here is Comet Ison. A spectacular comet, and indeed the comet of the century. But watch as it makes its approach. And notice the date below now. Let's see what comes out the other side. And that's what I was concerned about. But as we see it make its uh, journey, it be it gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and right there you could see where something appeared to have uh, finished it off now this does not deem any threat uh, to earth whatsoever you can see there's pretty much nothing uh, left there whatsoever let's go back to the story After perihelion, the comet emerges as a diffuse remnant of its former self. No one knows for sure what is inside the fan-shaped cloud. I know, uh, I believe it was Rev. Michelle Hopkins came out with some uh, deadly, deadly fear of uh, the contents but uh, of the debris that uh, will hit Earth. Nothing's going to hit Earth. we got to let this go now. we just got to put this to sleep. No fear. I know for ourselves, but we've got to get away from this and move on. No one knows uh, for sure, except Rev. Michelle Hopkins and Paul Begley and uh, BP Earthwatch. They know maybe what is inside that fan-shaped cloud. Possibilities include a small remnant nucleus of a rubble pile or uh, furiously vaporizing fragments. By the end of the day on November 28th, Comet Ison was spent it was done it was finished as of december 2nd the cloud of debris is no brighter than a star of approximately eight magnitude experienced uh astrophotographers might be able to capture the comet's fading ghost in the pre-dawn sky of early december but a naked eye uh spectacle is out of the question let's go here let's go to a real time a uh, photo of Comet Ison, and there's nothing there. Uh, friends, we've got to let this go. Uh, I am now convinced that uh, no harm is going to fall upon any of the inhabitants of Earth, and for all those that love and hang on to the fear, they don't, they're not looking for the rapture, they're looking for uh, the apocalypse, Armageddon, um, death and destruction. Let it go move on to something else comet ison is no more and i am officially done with this story leave me comments everyone